Hello everybody. Five ways to live your Christian life to the fullest. By fullest, I don't mean worldly success, but this might happen to some. And though prayer is not on my list, it should accompany everything a believer does. As for the five, here's what I've seen at work in the lives of God's people. One, let the Bible shape your desires. Often personal goals shape our desires. Nothing wrong with making goals, but not at the expense of reading God's word. I used to be a pastor, but now I'm a bus driver. The length of the bus shapes how I drive, especially the tricky corners around Sydney. Now, it's not the best illustration, I know, but you get the idea of God's word shapes, guides, changes, desires. From Romans we read, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Two, take these desires and start somewhere. Like the heart of entrepreneurialism. You don't wait for a perfect idea before launching into it. Start somewhere. Build. Adapt. Accept the inevitable setbacks. Avoid perfectionism. As a pastor for 13 years, I tell you, perfectionism is choking the church. Too many people are waiting for that perfect feeling, perfect opportunity, even a perfect ability before serving. But as the Bible commands, let us lay aside every weight Perfectionism is a weight. Let's lay it aside, cling to Christ and start somewhere. Three, learn from people. Accept correction. They say congregations say nice things like, wow, you did a good job. But often our best teachers are critics. Consider the Apostle Paul opposing Peter for withdrawing from the Gentile dinner table. He was eating with the Gentiles. Four, help others grow. Not just help others by giving money, things, though that's a good thing, but grow. So what do I mean? Find something you can do. Help another person do the same. It doesn't need to be fancy. I recall a friend from church many years ago helping troubled young men fix old lawnmower engines. As somebody once wrote, and I like this quote, God has chosen us to help one another grow. Five, take responsibility for your actions or situation. Taking responsibility is inbuilt into Christianity. For instance, I've sinned against a holy God. I'm responsible for my transgressions. Not the devil, my parents, neither my environment, me. Sin is like alcoholism. First thing you've got to do is confess, I've a problem. Turn to Christ, save me, Jesus. And taking responsibility for a situation includes, I can't save myself from sin. That is taking responsibility for your situation. And taking responsibility can be applied across a broad spectrum of Christian living. There you go. Five ways to live your Christian life to the fullest. See you next time.